Thank you everyone for coming to my channel and today is January 1st 2021 this is my first uh, disc golf course and in my local place and I'm gonna do a casual round some practice in here and let's see how it goes Hole 1 par 3 164 feet the empty pond in the front of the tee to the left side of the basket is OB also, the basket is on the top of the hill, and if you roll left, it will be OV way down. Second shot, I'm going with Prodigy M1, and that's the ideal shot, and I think this is part. Third shot, this was fortunate to hit the tree, otherwise it will be OV down left. That's something you don't want to see here. This actually rolled down and went OB. So this is where M2 landed and the tree was in the way so I had to do a Anheuser putt which I'm not really good at and still need a lot of practice and trust me here I'm not aiming at the camera I'm aiming to the basket Actually, this is quite a death spot. If you look behind, these parts, which should be filled with water, it's a pond, so it should be filled with water. So, it's a OB. And then look at this hill. So, this is a quite a challenging shot. And if you miss it, it's gonna be a hard miss. Hole 2, par 3, 226 feet. First, I'm going with Inaba Wombat 3. Got through the first Guardian Tree, so it will be good. Second shot was forehand with Praji M1, but it ended up hitting the last tree. The third shot, well, as usual, I hit the tree. Fourth shot, this was really good, but it hit some branches. I may have a good look from there. This is where Wombat landed. And can I make it from circle two? No, I cannot. So the next is uh, from the line of F2. And I think this is circle edge. And I have to go between those two front trees.
Here I am at the line of the M1. I have a clear look to the basket, but the problem is it's far. It's outside of circle one, and this is certainly a tester for me. And can I make it? No, I couldn't. It was a little bit high. And this one was also a little bit low. Let's see if I can adjust the height. No, I couldn't. This is hole 3, par 3, 50 meter, 164 feet. You cannot really see the basket from here, but trust me, it's there. The basket is on the other side of the hill, and you can see the bottom, the bottom pole of the basket. But from the tee, you cannot have a look at the basket, and I'm not sure what kind of shot is best for this hole. So first, I'm going with Prodigy M1 with a forehand and since the branches are in the way, so I'm kneeling down to throw as low as possible not to hit the branches. But it didn't really work out. The balance was off and it was really hard to throw. Next, I'm going with Prodigy M2 and I'm trying to hit the center gap and fortunately it passed through all the branches somehow. Next, I'm going with Prodigy F2 well my overstable fairway driver. And this one went really good, but I think I really split it too flat for a little bit adding, so it didn't have a finish to the right, which I was thinking of. So it ended that F2 and M2 landed in a quite similar spot. But unfortunately, I couldn't make it for the birdie. It's almost, but not quite there. And now I'm making a comeback putt. And the first one was easy, and the second and third one, since the branches were in the way, um, I chose to go to the low line. But instead of that, um, maybe I should have tried Heiser putt. But anyway, I couldn't make it, and it's a bogey. Hole 4, par 3, 164 feet. It's a simple straight line, but it has a narrow fairway. First shot with Wombat 3. I shot a little bit too much to the right and it hit a guardian tree. Second shot with Prodigy F2. If it was a little bit left, that would be perfect. 
but hitting the tree again. Third shot with Prodigy F4. And this one also was guarded with a tree. And I went from the lie of the F5 and I took a par. Thank you for watching the part 1 of the video and whole 5 to 9 will be uploaded in part 2. And that's all. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.